Welcome back to the S14 build. The previous owner somehow got rid of the fans minus an AC fan that didn't work, so today I'm going to install some Ultima electric fans, which are supposedly one of the best electric setups. I'm basing this information on a study by four guys I saw on a forum. They tested different fans, radiators, and ducting. They had some interesting tools, and while a lot of the findings are situational, I agree with their conclusions. If you'd like to read through it for yourself, I'll leave a link in the description. But the gist of their research, as it pertains to fans, is to get a set of Ultima dual electric fans. They flow a ton of air, which is aided by the shroud. I found a set on Kijiji for $90, so here we are. To get the old one out, you'll likely have to remove the top rad hose, so I drained a bit of coolant out the bottom before popping it off. The old fan is just held down by two screws. Here's a nice comparison while they're both out. The pegs and holes are almost the same distance apart, so you'll likely only be able to use one hole and one peg. Depending on your setup, you'll have to trim the shroud differently. The plastic is super easy to cut through, I just used a bandsaw. You'll have to take a bit off each lower edge to stop the fan resting on the frame. I took my time and eventually got to the point where it fit perfectly. You can make an additional bracket if you need more support. I ran to the issue of my blow valve not quite clearing, but again, a little notch with a bandsaw solved the problem. Onto the wiring. This is the diagram I'm going to be following. There seems to be some misinformation on how these fans work, so I'm going to clear that up now. The blue and green are your power wires. To make the fan pull air in the right direction, through the rad. They aren't high and low, but instead if either one has power, the fan will be on low. If both have power, it'll be on high. For my setup, I'm going to run each fan on high, and control each one on their own switch. This means twisting the blue and green power wires together before running them to a relay controlled by a switch. You can have your relay go to a thermostatic probe, sensor, or whatever else you'd like. I'm happy to answer questions in the comments if you have them. Time to execute the plan. I bought everything I needed and started laying out my wires from the fans all the way back to my battery, which is in the trunk. I decided to hide my wires along the passenger side as I found some other battery wires which are already making the trip. The trim all just pops out so it's super easy if you'd like to do the same. I wanted to double check my wires before I hooked it all up. Luckily I did as the previous owner had attached an extension using weird colors, like some of the power wires were black. His setup actually worked but the fans were spinning backwards which is far from optimal in a setup like this. I got some of these inline fuse holders which seemed like a good idea and decided to put them in the back to make them easy to check. I know people have different ways of connecting wires. I'm not too much of a wiring guy myself but I've always had good luck with the crimp connectors. These strippers are amazing too. I got my relays ready before installing them. You can refer to the same diagram if you aren't sure where each wire is going. Most relays should have the numbers on them too. I chose to hide my two relays in this area, as it's close to where my wires go through the firewall, close to a stock ground, and out of sight. Well, not really, but we'll clean that up someday. I connected the power and ground wires to the fan, and ran my relay signal wire under the dash. I believe I used the power and ground from the cigarette lighter for the switch. This seemed to work well as I can control my fans as long as I have accessory power. So quick run through. One switch controls the small passenger fan, and the other controls the larger driver side one. Both come on in high power. I was amazed by how much they flow. By fluke, these switches have a flashing light, but it only comes on when you turn your car off but the fans are still on, like a warning not to kill your battery, so that's perfect. The setup works, but it's a mess, so next video I'm going to make a panel for the switches and install some gauges to monitor just how well the fans work. If you liked the video, leave a like and subscribe to see more. Thanks for watching.